World of Tanks crew assignment. I'm going to show you how I decide how to use my recruits, which are available here. Uh, these are crew members that I won um, from World of Tanks that have, uh, for example, Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger and the Snow Maidens. I'm going to show you the Chinese tech tree. There's one, two, three, four, five branches, lights, mediums, heavies, heavies, and tank destroyers. There's five branches. You want at least one set of crew per branch. You don't always have to do it that way, but I've got so many crew members that, for example, I've got like 17 unrecruited crew members, so I've got plenty. I can recruit one per branch. They're not going to level up as quickly, and it's going to be less expensive when transferring them to another vehicle. I've already gone through all of my vehicles, and I made sure that every crew member is assigned to his vehicle, and all the premium tanks are empty, and all the tanks that don't have crew are empty. When you go to barracks, you go to filter, you click China, and then you click the one on the left that says in barracks. You see I have two. One is for a light tank, which is a premium light tank, and the other one is for a tank destroyer, the 60 GFT. So I'm going to go to my Type 64. Uh, he's probably assigned to this vehicle because the other light tanks don't have the radio operator. And I'm going to go to the 60, which is here. See, there's this guy over here. He's just a regular guy. The regular recruit. He's only got 30%. He's just starting out. He doesn't have a high value to me. I could get rid of this guy. In fact, he might have only played one game for all I know. 11 battles. So he doesn't have a lot of value to me. I'm going to send him back to the barracks. So you'll notice I have one, two, three, four vehicles that have their crew. And as I showed over here, there's five branches, which means that one branch does not have any crew. I'm going to guess it's a heavy tank. <coughs> Medium. Heavy. Light. Heavy. It's the tank destroyers that don't have any crew. And again, my barracks is... Uh, you go over here and you go to China it's showing the recruits but there's nobody for China all my Chinese guys are um, not available so I'm gonna recruit new people to put in a tank destroyer I'm gonna choose tank destroyer you see I've got three tank destroyers this one has one mark of excellence this one has none. This one has one. This one has some equipment. I'm checking to see if there's any bonded equipment where I need to pay to demount it. And there's none. So I feel pretty good going with any of these vehicles. This one's already got one mark. This one's already got one mark. To get the second mark, not impossible, but it's going to be more work than getting one mark. This one only needs one mark. So it's going to be easier for me to get it, so I'd like to work on that. You can see that they all have four crew members, no radio operator. So the one that has no gun marks is the one I'm thinking about putting the crew in. Then you got the other option of starting with the Tier 5. This is a lower tier vehicle, which means I'm going to get into easier games, so I'll probably be able to level level it up faster um, with this I know I'll make the gun mark with this one yeah I 
might be a little bit more difficult. I'll have to play better, etc. This one will be easy. I'll do it in like 50 games on average. So I think I'm going to go for the gun mark and uh, the fact that the equipment is already um, going to be easy to put in. Now the reason why I don't have equipment here is because there's a limited number of bonded and improved equipment. And I've got them in my other vehicles and I'd rather go for the gun marks with the best equipment. So I want to get the gun marks on those vehicles, remove the bonded equipment, put them in this vehicle, and then start working on it. But that doesn't change the fact that I need the crew. And because there's no mark of excellence, I'm willing to play it without the bonded equipment. So I'm going to recruit... You know what? I like to recruit bottom-up. So I'm going to start with the loader. I'm going to go... F we already know there's nothing in the barracks. Except for this guy, but he's not a zero-skilled BIA, so we don't want him. So I'm going to click on Recruits. Get zero skill BIA. I'm going to start for, from the bottom to pick a loader. The fact is, I've only got 12 of these guys left. What I might do is not use them. And the reason why is because I can use them for other tech trees. And use them for commander, gunner, driver but not for loader. And then what will happen is um, they'll give me an advantage on another tech tree somewhere. But you know what? I'm going to get one more this Christmas, the one that's called Vinny. And I know I'm going to get, you know, six or seven more throughout the year or next year when new tech trees come out. So I think I'm going to go for it and I'm just going to recruit somebody. <coughs> you know what? I'm going to start with the driver. And I will take uh, this woman to be my driver. You know, it says 12, but there's actually more because it wasn't showing the commanders. So over here it shows 11, but when I do commander, says 14 because these are commanders only. Arnold, Mila, and T-800 are commanders only. Okay, so I'm going to do the gunner, going to click on recruits, going to pick someone from the bottom. Uh, perhaps I will take this one. Oh no, I do not want this one because she's got too many crew skills. Did I pick one that had too many crew skills by mistake? I don't know. I'm going to pick one from the bottom. I'm going to take this one here. She's a very nice hat. This is a tank destroyer. I like playing tank destroyers. So I want to have good crew in my tank destroyers. So when I pick a commander, I've got three that are really good at the top, but I've also got other tech trees that I need commanders for. In fact, I've got these three that are really good. And you'll notice that Arnold and Mila have more perks and skills than the T-800, so I think I'm going to put the T-800 on this vehicle, which means he's going to level up quickly, which means it's going to be easier for me to get my gun marks. Okay, if I do this at the bottom and I put this guy over here from the 60 GFT, he's going to get the brothers in arms relatively quickly. And I can use crew books to level him up. So the question is, of these, which do I need? Safe stowage is essential. Won't take that long to get. Concealment is essential. 
I think those two are very, very essential. Repair is not so much. It's a tank destroyer. It's going to be far away, lightly armored, which means they're not going to track you. They're going to destroy you. So repairs is not going to be very useful. Same with firefighting. You're going to just catch on fire. Adrenaline rush isn't useful. Intuition isn't useful. So I could go through the pain of keeping this guy, playing a short amount of time and leveling him up and getting this later. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to retrain him, and I'm going to use the rapid course because I don't have any cash. Went up to 94%. And then I'm going to work on these. How do I assign the crew skills? Uh, this is the driver. So you've got performance, which is um, the ones here on the bottom. You've got preventative maintenance, which is to defend yourself. <coughs> Controlled impact is good for hit points. Firefighting is, um, I guess you would call it maintenance, just like the engine one. Concealment is very essential for a tank destroyer because it keeps you alive in the game to be hidden, especially when you fire the gun, especially when you fire the gun, number one, and number two, when you're, when you're traveling. Repairs, not so much. This is a lightly armored vehicle. They're going to destroy you. They're not going to do damage. They're going to destroy you, so it doesn't matter so much. I'm going to take concealment. This is a vehicle that's going to spin around a lot and you're going to drive a lot because it's probably got a... I don't know what the speed is. 50 is pretty good, which means you're going to drive a lot. I would go with the off-road driving. Smooth ride is good because it's going to keep your gun accurate. You're going to go forward, fire, reverse. It's going to keep your gun a little bit more accurate. I'm going to go with the uh, off-road driving. Especially on frontline, you're going to want off-road driving. Okay, so this is the gunner. Definitely concealment. Need to stay hidden. Putting concealment is going to be a huge benefit for my crew. Designated target is good, but I blind fire anyway, so it doesn't matter. Armor doesn't matter on this vehicle because you're just going to get destroyed. They're not going to damage the gun. You use armor on the mouse and the E100 and the super heavy tanks where the guns get damaged often. <clears throat> firefighting later in the game, you don't have a lot of hit points, so firefighting isn't going to save you. Repairs is okay. Deadeye is good. You know, one out of every four games, you're going to get another critical hit or something like that. Snapshot is going to keep the aim better, but this vehicle doesn't have a turret, so it's going to have a small impact. However, it's going to be good for vehicles that are far away, and this is a vehicle where you're firing at vehicles that are far away. So this is actually not such a bad choice. <coughs> I would say I would go with Snapshot. And then we go to the commander dude. Um, I'm going to do concealment. I'm only putting it first because I did it for the others. And I want to be able to look down the line and see that they all have concealment. Uh, this only has four crew members and I don't use the health kit. So jack of all trades can be helpful. It's a tank. To okay, recon I would definitely use because I like to spot. <coughs> Firefighting. And repairs you want to put on the other crew members and on the um, commander you put them kind of more t towards the end because I do performance performance means recon <clears throat> this is the only one and and brothers in arms the other ones are not performance related 
They don't improve your performance in the game. This is protection. This is protection. This is protection. This is uh, obviously a form of protection also. So I'm going to go with recon because not only do you get better performance, you get more experience because you spot more. That's why I use recon. Gets me more EX. It gets me more XP in the game. <coughs> Anything that keeps you alive also helps you with XP in the game. Uh, Eagle Eye, I just play around with it, but uh, I don't use it on a lot of vehicles. I'm thinking about sound detection because that's really going to help out in the game because this you can get one shotted with this. It's nice to know if, if they're firing at you. <clears throat> uh, this, your crew's going to get injured, but they're just going to destroy the tank. Repairs, I use two repair kits. <clears throat> I don't know. I guess I'm just going to use this. Don't spend too much time thinking about it because it doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter that much. Okay, so now we've got crew books. We're gonna look at the crew books, see what we got here. I've only got this, which is good for any vehicle. And wow, it only goes up 9%. Oh, it's okay. It allowed me to choose some skills. That's kind of important. We're gonna go to the barracks. We're gonna look at the recruits. You see this guy, you can choose two. You don't have, you have not earned that experience. Okay? With this one, it includes repairs and firefighting. That means that the one that you add, you see there's one that you can add, that is where the zero point is. So that's gonna level up very quickly. <coughs> You get from 0 to 100 very quickly. These, the other two do not use experience points. This one's different. With this one, the 0 point is the one in the middle, which is the plus sign on the left. And the second one. That means that when you add your third skill, it's not this... You have to... It's, it's like a regular guy who's on his third skill. This one, it's like she's on, if when you add, it's gonna be like she's on her second skill. <coughs> These are the ones that are very valuable. This one has four slots. And this one has four slots. This one has two you can pick, this one has one you can pick. The one that has one you can pick is the better one. Four slots where some of them are already assigned, that means he's starting out with his first slot right there. She's starting out with first and second slot. She is the same as the one over here with two, and she is the same. He is the same as one of these down here with one. You want the one that already gives you some because they're not included in your XP count. If I apply a crew book to uh, Arnie, it might go up to 100%, and with this, it might go up to 50%. That's the point I'm making. I'm not going to demonstrate it because it's too expensive. But you want it to be that way. Okay, so I'm not going to do any crew books on this particular vehicle, and I'm probably going to play it through because I don't have the money uh, to bring it up and it's only working on the first gun mark it's not going to impact my game very much okay so that's how i choose the crew for this vehicle i don't have any equipment that i can put in everything else is already configured this is my normal gameplay small large and i put the health kit because it never catches on fire this is my performance option over here, I would put the food consumable, the oil consumable, 
and a large repair kit, and then I would put the all premium rounds, etc. Okay, that's how you do it. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.